Hello, good morning everybody. Good morning. That is nice. Everybody seems to be alive. Yeah. Everybody had a good sleep. Everybody's alive this morning. Okay. Well, good morning folks. Um, today, so we said we're going to be talking about the rosary. The whole month of October, we're going to be dedicating this this uh, morning broadcasts uh, about on the rosary okay so today today let's talk about how to pray the rosary okay how to pray the rosary or maybe more appropriately what the prayer books don't teach you about how to pray the rosary okay because all the prayer books that you can find at least the ones that I know of will all teach you about, you know, how many Our Fathers to pray, where to pray the Our Father, how many Hail Marys, and, and where the Glory Bees are, etc., right? So they would even have the, you know, charts there to uh, show you how to uh, pray the Rosary. Okay, but that's not what I'm going to talk about today. We all, we all know that. We all know how to pray the Rosary. We pray together every day, okay? So, <clears throat> by the way, talking about praying the Rosary every day, Sometimes I get people asking me, you know, how do you teach your kids to pray? How did you teach your kids to sit down or whatever, uh, uh, kneel down, pray the rosary with you uh, every day? Well, the simple answer to that question is that we pray the rosary every day. <laughs> it's as simple as that. And, and uh, when children see you praying the rosary, well, they will pray with you. They will see the... Um, the, um, the example that you give them as to how you do it. And uh, it becomes a very natural thing that the children adopt to as they're growing up. So the children just learn to pray the rosary with you when you, when you pray it. You don't even have to uh, provide special instruction for them to, to do it. Uh, it's all by example, really, really all by example. And it's a question of inviting them to join you in that rosary and well they will they will children always love to do what their parents are doing and so praying the rosary becomes a very natural thing for them to do if they see their parents doing uh, this practice okay but I have three tips here of how we can pray the rosary better especially this month of October the month of the rosary okay so First thing I want to talk about here is that you have to mean what you pray. Mean what you pray. And this has to go uh, with every vocal prayer that we pray. See, the, the rosary is a vocal prayer. It is, it is, uh, it is a, uh, a prayer uh, uh, of different vocal prayers put together. You have the creed. You have the Our Father. You have the Hail Mary, the Glory Be. You have the... Uh, the prayer for the uh, souls in purgatory, right, which comes after every decade, which Our Lady of Fatima, uh, in her apparition, um, uh, proposed that we add to the rosary. So it's a it's a garden, okay, An, a garland of vocal prayers. That is what the rosary is all about. Now there's a big temptation for us to just mindlessly rattle off these prayers. Hey, Mary, full of grace, the Lord, redeem, bless that, that among women, bless with that, Jesus. <laughs> Some people pray like that. Right? And then, and then uh, uh, the leader hasn't even finished the Hail Mary, and, uh, and the, the Holy Mary is already being recited by the rest of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, redeem, bless that, that among women, bless with Holy Mary, my God, my God, Jesus, down the upper deck, amen. <laughs> That's not the way to pray the vocal prayers, right? Uh, this is not a mantra, okay? This is not a mantra like uh, some other uh, religions uh, pray some kind of beads too, right? Uh, the Buddhists, I think, are the ones who do that or whatever. Some people have these mantras that they recite. Well, vocal prayers are not mantras. They are not, they are not a mental uh, kind of, uh, 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 um, uh, what do you call this thing, um, um, rhythm that we we try to repeat to calm us down and to make us uh, peaceful like some other people do. No, that's not what the what the Hail Marys are for. That's not what the vocal prayers are for. We have to mean what we say. 
Okay? We have to mean what we say. And when we mean what we say, it doesn't also mean to say we have to do it slowly. Okay? Some people some people have the wrong notion of, of uh, associating slowness with solemnity. Right? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou. <laughs> so slow, you're going to take it forever. That's why some people don't have time to pray the rosary. Why? Because they say, they say it awfully slow. And they think that, they think that by being slow, they're praying it well. Well, no, no. Solemnity, the, uh, sol the solemnity of prayer has nothing to do with the, with the speed or the slowness at which you say it. Like, it's also funny how, I mean, speaking of slow and solemnity, it's also funny how, for example, um, uh, the, the uh, Gregorian chants are being chanted like a dirge at church, right? Or, or you go to uh, you go to the benediction of the uh, blessed sacrament. Tanto mergo sacramentum. It's like you never know when it's going to end, right? That's not the way to, to chant the Gregorian chants, right? These are joyful songs, songs of praise. You don't sing it like a dirge, right? Tantum ergo sacramentum venere That is the way to, you know, paste that. The same thing is true with the Hail Marys, right? You can say it at a pace which is, you know, your normal speaking way. But at the same time, meaning every word that you say. Otherwise, it's like saying, I hey, love you. I love you. Love you. What's that again? I love you. Did you really mean to say I love you to the person you love? Or you just wanted to say to dismiss him or her? That's not the way. Okay? Especially with Our Lady, you don't do that. But you have to mean everything you say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. You're talking to Our Lady. You're praising Our Lady. Eh? You have to talk to her like she's in front of you. Like you are conversing with her. And you're telling her how beautiful she is, how wonderful it is that she said yes to, G, to, to the angel Gabriel's message, right? Who, who, who told her, blessed are you among women. And when she said, be it done unto me, right? Be it done unto me according to your word. You are reminding our lady of this very beautiful fiat. The time when she accepted the motherhood that our Lord from all eternity has wanted her uh, to be okay, a beautiful, beautiful prayer. And when we say the Our Father, the same thing. When we when we tell God to please forgive us for our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us, and to provide us all our needs, we have to mean what we say. Otherwise, we're making a mockery of the prayers, and we're making a mockery of the whole intention of praying the Rosary. And these vocal prayers see so we have to mean what we say we have to really imagine that we're talking to our lady face to face and telling her hail full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners you're petitioning her pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen beautiful beautiful prayer Right? Because it's the angelic prayer. So, prayer of St. Gabriel. Okay, next tip. Meditate on the mysteries. <clears throat> oh, we're looking at the clock. Yeah, I know. Meditate on the mysteries. <clears throat> How do we do that? We have to try to contemplate the mystery we're talking about in the rosary. Okay? Uh, you know what? I'm sorry. It's time, folks. I talk too much. What we're going to do is this. We're going to postpone the other two tips, okay, for the coming days. But at least we talked about something very important today, which is pay attention. Pay attention to the vocal prayers you recite at the rosary. Don't just recite them mindlessly. Don't just, whose hand is that? Don't just 
say it like you know you just want to get over it okay pray the rosary with full attention by reciting the uh, vocal prayers uh, mindfully and with your heart and mind really into what you are saying okay we'll continue with the other two tips tomorrow because it's time we're gonna be late for mass so bye-bye have a good day everybody bye, bye.